as the soap Twitter tweets was brought to you by McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it. Well, Michael Benson did reveal on his podcast, State of Emergency, that he doesn't really like playing Bobby on Veterinary Hospital. And that's why we got subjected to the Roosevelt High storyline for the past nine months. Which I gotta admit, the Roosevelt High storyline was actually pretty refreshing. If you ask me, Francesca Valaro, she's one of the best executive producers that Veterinary Hospital has seen. She's definitely bringing the show to new heights. Killing off every character on the show, but they failed to kill off James October. It's like you can't kill him off for some reason. He's untouchable. What you got him in thinking about? The guy who plays James October is actually a pretty good actor. A little over the top, but I like it. Same with the other actor, Marvin Carlos, who plays Jonathan Federline of the Evil Federline family. Yeah, I like the both of them. They're pretty good. Even though Marvin Carlos was a recast. <laughs> Everything is in place. I have successfully divided so Twitter. <laughs> oh no you won't. You're not gonna divide so Twitter anymore. Not today, Satan. Not today. The power of Christ compels you. <sighs> is that a pen that you're gonna use against me? Well, I mean, you know, soaps don't have the budgets like they used to have back in the day. Oh, no, 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 I understand, I understand. Times are rough. Inflation is bad, too. You know, as an exorcist, I'm an independent contractor. You know, we don't we don't make as much money as we used to. You know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not how it used to be. It's I didn't know it was that bad, man. I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I really apologize about that. Well, well, listen, like, go ahead and do the exorcism. What are you waiting for? Come on. Well, I just never know what people are going through in this life. You know, you just never know.